Still is the team going backwards, kick out coming from the belly down the goalkeeper. Well taken in the centre by Danny Kowalski, gives it across to his full forward there. His full forward goes it back in, in away. Foley coming out for that one. James Foley doing well, gives the ball back inside here. Come on, coming in the attack again, back to Danny Kowalski. Danny Kowalski over the halfway line. Now Walsh has the ball, comes inside towards the centre, leaving it off now to his centre back. His centre back is Peter Cow from in. The ball is hanging around the 50 yard line, up the right side, trying to broken down there for uh, by Mark. No man, he was well picked up there on the side on the far side of the field. Danny Kowalski giving the ball out here. Picked up in Clinton Griffin, his other forwards into the game. The Cromon will have the chance. Ball out towards the centre field. Donico Walsh rises again. Really has had a fantastic season, this man. Gives it back to Peter O'Reilly. Gives it forward again. Shot. Batting it down. Sensibly done there to Colin Jai. Colin Jai releasing the ball out now to Donico Walsh. Donico Walsh giving it there to his centre half forward. His centre half forward is Paul P. O'Sullivan. Scanlon there, centre back. Picks the ball up. Gives it out here. And slipping there as they went forward to there. Is there number nine there, Kevin Costa? Come on, have the ball again. Donica Walsh his foul there. This will be a free. Quickly taken by Donica Walsh. John O'Sullivan has done very well since this game has started. Gives it to Donica Walsh. Donica Walsh turning back inside. He gives it back inside there to his uh, cornerback, which is a very dangerous tactic. Giving the ball out towards Colum Jai. But Donica Walsh driving into this one. Showing his county experience, really. And really showing his physical strength, which he has attained from the county position. Help. He doesn't need it because he comes inside. He centers the ball inside here. Good ball inside. Donica Walsh is inside. Oh, and a a great save out towards the center ball broken down the center again francis casey picking it up gives it to dunnick walsh dunnick walsh has the ball bouncing it not had very advisable in, in soft ground condition gives it out here towards Niall denny back there is noel o'reilly noel o'reilly gives it back inside ball being overplayed there by Cremont. they do better to get the ball quickly out of defense ball being fouled there a foul on dunnick walsh there and number 14 Niall denny leaving the ball behind him this free will be taken by dunnick walsh dunnick walsh Taking it short again towards Niall Dennehy. Niall Dennehy giving it back to Dunnico Walsh. Dunnico Walsh feeding inside towards Colum Jai. But throughout the, the Breton weather of this country, when you see players of Dunnico Walsh and Sean O'Sullivan, indeed, a lot more players by Cremont, players on the way up, indeed. Looking out here today, Young Walsh there, another player, Liam Walsh and Sean Walsh, very good players as well. Ball picked up inside by Colum. The Cremont man, Paul P. O'Sullivan, he gives the ball inside, gives it back inside again. Cremont swinging the ball wrong way. Dunnico Walsh to Colum Jai. Colum Jai, honey. A foul on Colum Jai there. Dunnico Walsh has the ball will take this free Donna Kowal is going to take this free right in the centre of the field drives the ball inside here coming out for it now Niall Denny coming out for this picks the ball up number 14 has the ball he gives the ball across into the far side of the field to Sean O'Sullivan Sean O'Sullivan into Donna Kowal right through the centre Donna Kowal sends it in that's a beautiful score there Two Cremont players there, two county players combining there. Sean O'Sullivan releasing the ball to Dunnico Walsh on the run. Against the breeze, every point is worth probably two points, but um, the high ball into the square is causing Cremont problems. If Belly Dunhill kick it in, into the edge of the square, they could well get another goal before half time. Ball out here in the first there as Paul P. O'Sullivan was pushed out over the line there with the ball in his possession. The referee has signaled that it will either be a line ball or free. Indeed, I think he's given the free. Done the Kawaj. Ball curling high in the air in towards the centre. He will blow up from the kick out. Good kick out coming from Liam Walsh. This is a very good kick out around the 50 yard line. Broken down the centre. Well picked up again by Done the Kawaj. And really, he's done a Trojan amount of work for Kraman. So has this man on the ball, Column Jai. Column Jai has the ball. Column looking for someone to give it. He tries to go back to James Foley. Foley hand passing the ball out towards Done the Kawaj again. Done the Kawaj leaving the ball up towards his centre time whistle. Done the Kawaj has the ball. And really, he's making things happen for Cremont so far this afternoon. Done the Kowals, the midfielder, of course. Mid Kerry man indeed was involved with the Mid Kerry team, as we said this year in the three games against South Kerry. Indeed, I suppose was man of the match. Three team ball inside towards towards Gerald Garman. John O'Sullivan has the ball. John O'Sullivan back to Done the Kowals. Done the Kowals approaching the 50 yard line. Done the Kowals leaving a long ball inside now towards Column Joy. He played back in his own. Towards indeed on the Kowalsh, on the Kowalsh picking the ball up as he tries to come outside, approaching the 50 yard line, coming out with the ball, plays the ball back inside. Towards Francis Casey, playing with the advantage of a strong breeze and really with pairs like Dunnick Kowalsh around the centre. I expect Cremont to control the second half here. As Frank said, there were Francis Casey trying to get to ground there. Ball gone inside there, there, centre half back going forward there. Tries to pull inside, Dunnick Kowalsh effects the block inside in the goal. Dunnick Kowalsh has the ball being surrounded there by Mike Scanlon. He was the man who brought the ball forward, really. And Frank there, a few chances have come, Belly done whose way so far. That's right. Has the ball, Adrian Carr looking for it. Sean O'Sullivan coming back to challenge the ball, going inside. Long ball in towards the square. Ball broken down inside, Dunnick Kowalsh picking it up for Cremont there. And Dunnick Kowalsh trying to burst his way out, he's fouled his Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan gives it to Colum Jai. Colum Jai going forward now for Cremont. He's looking for an outlet to give it to. He gives it away across, and this is the man who could do damage, Dunnico Walsh. He looks at the post. He sends a long, long ball inside. It's gone over the bar. What a fantastic score from Dunnico Walsh. He was 52 or 53 yards out. 
That's a fantastic point run. Really tested here at the moment. Ball plays it across to their number eight, Martin O'Mahony, going forward. He's gone inside the 50-yard line. Good challenge there coming in from Dunnekawal. Beautiful piece of football by Dunnekawal. Here, lashing down at the moment here at the Aston Sex Park as Liam Walsh with the kick out. What a cold, wet and windy day to play football. Ball picked up again and foul there, a foul there. In the centre of the face will be a free. Then the Kowals takes it. Ball inside to the corner. Turn started inside to Dermot O'Connor. Dermot O'Connor has the ball. He's a man outside him. Dunneke Walsh going back to trying to challenge there. A high ball inside there. Dunneke Walsh trying to go back. Dunneke Walsh throws the stand side of the field. Being picked up now. Being picked up, I think, by Patrick Bunyan. Bunyan, who got that great score.